How does one detach when getting personally attacked and take extreme ownership with false claims? And what does one do when, when a subordinate always goes above the chain of command instead of working out issues with the coworker? Okay, I'm, this isn't the clearest question that I've ever received. I'm going to try and, I'm not sure if I completely understand it, but I'm going to try and sort of answer to the best of my ability. Um, I think what we're talking about here is that someone is telling me that something is my fault and that is a false claim. Is that, that's the question, right? I think like so, Like you're yes. making a false claim and saying like, this is your responsibility, Jocko. You were supposed to press record. Right. And it's false because I wasn't supposed to press record. Yeah. Right? Like, like, let's say. Like, yeah. Or, like, or maybe like record was pressed. Like the, the, there is no issue, you know. Well, then, that, why would he, why would he, why would that become a personal attack? Yeah, yeah, I guess it wouldn't. Huh? So the personal attack is, Jocko, you didn't press record. Yeah. And now the question is, what do I do then? Because because we both know who's in charge of pressing record here. Yeah. Who is? Me. Okay, so you're in charge of press and record. Yeah. If you all of a sudden we we are forty minutes into a into a podcast and we haven't pressed record, the record has button hasn't been pressed, mm-hmm. and all of a sudden it comes to light. And you say, Jocko, you didn't press record. Right. Now, what this person is saying, that's a false, false claim. claim. Gotcha. That's yes. not my responsibility. It's truly not my responsibility. Right. And I'm not going to take Why yeah. should I be doing that? Yeah. And you know what I'm going to say? You know what I'm going to say. Yes, sir, I do. Which is, you know what? It is my responsibility because I'm here. It's primarily my voice that's being recorded. And from now on, I will make sure that that gets recorded. It's my fault. I will take care of it from now on. By the way, now what is your job responsibilities in this whole podcast? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nothing. No, no, no. You have nothing to do. Yeah. If you're not pressing record, you're not nothing to do. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so how does that feel? Yeah, it doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good. You don't like that. Mm-hmm. But when I take away that responsibility, you're actually gonna come and claw it back from me. Mm-hmm. You're gonna say, you know what? Actually, you know, it was your fault when that happened, but you know what, from now on, since you screwed it up, I'm gonna take ownership of it. And you know what I say? I say, cool, that's awesome, yeah, good point. Since you are over there with the recorder and since you're a technical guy and I'm not, that makes a lot of sense. Why don't we go with that? From now on, you own it. Yeah. I I, I shouldn't have dropped the ball last time. You know? know? (laughs) So so there we go. I own it. I fix it. If By the way, if you don't want responsibility back, if you just say, cool, yeah, you press record from now on. Okay, cool, I will. Yeah. And then guess what? I'll start thinking about how much I need you around here. Yeah. Because really, what else do you bring to the table? I know. Really. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that's question number one. Mm-hmm. Uh, the question number two, as far as detaching, so I don't get emotional. That's <sighs> if someone is blaming me. If someone is blaming me, if you start blaming me for something, I actually look at that right out of the gate. I see that as a psychological victory for me. Mm. Because because you're blaming me like you're blaming you're not taking ownership. I already won. Yeah. I already won So there's no I'm not getting emotional about that. That's They're blaming me because they don't have the the wherewithal to actually take ownership themselves I see that as a weakness of theirs and I'm fine with it And that that's why I don't I'm not gonna I don't need to get emotional because I'm sitting there going wow I, This person just served me up on a silver platter the fact that they don't want to take ownership and they're gonna give it to me mm. Are you kidding me? I'll take this all day long Another thing is, and I've said this before, I can't be respect. I can't be disrespected by someone that doesn't even respect themselves. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can't disrespect that. me mm-hmm. if you don't even respect yourself. If you're just, you know, like a bum in the street is where the, where the thing came from. Yeah, you know, someone that's just a, you know, a drunk bum laying in his own vomit and wants to, you know, look at me and say, "You look like." To look like a dirt bag. Yeah, it's like okay, dude. Yeah, carry on with your day. Yeah, that you you're not going to affect me. So how in the same vein, if how can I be disrespected by you when you tell me when you blame me for something when I realize what's happening right now is you don't even have enough respect for yourself to take ownership of something. Yeah, this is just a win. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so that's the second part, of that. and I think the third part of the question is a subordinate that that goes up the chain of command mm-hmm. instead of working working out the issues with the coworker, that's pretty pretty easy. I'm not gonna solve those problems for you. Yeah. Oh, you got a problem down the chain of command with your coworker, your peer, and you guys aren't working it out, and you want me to solve your problem? No, you go figure it out and come back to me with a solution. 
Now, I'll do that a couple times. If eventually they can't come up with a solution, guess what I have? I have a problem. I have a real problem, and I will solve it, and they're not gonna like my solution because it probably involves neither one of them being there anymore. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Extreme case. But what I will do is I say, okay, come and read me the facts. Mm. You really want me to make a decision about this? Cool, I'll do it. But I always felt horrible. In fact, I don't even know if I ever did this, going to my boss to make a decision about something that I should have agreed with, with my peer. Because mm. you know what, I'd rather just, for me, I'd rather say, hey, you know what, you wanna do it your way, Echo, fine. Mm. You, let's go with it, it's close enough. You Oh, you wanna, Take the lead, cool, you take the lead. I'll support you, no problem, that's what I'm here for. I want mm. the team to win. I know you're concerned about you, and I know and that's fine, mm. that's fine. I'm here for the team, so let's do it your way so that it works out. Yeah. Not going to my boss and complaining. That's just ridiculous. And then that's, that's another one where, I fit in, I don't think I've ever been in a corporate scenario, but <laughs> it seems like that that's easy to see in other people, you know, like where, you know how like a situation where, yeah, l let me like let my subordinate take lead. It seems like that could be a solid, almost obvious answer for people. Yeah. Except myself, you know, like I, I don't, I don't always point that inward, you know, I'm sure there's like people out there where it's like, oh, that this will solve probably a lot of your problems. Just look at it this way and, and do it and do that. You know, let, let one of your subordinates like take lead on the stuff. And I would predict as far as that goes that most people would be pretty surprised like oh yeah i guess i should i should do that yeah you know at this point so you're saying that's a it's a pretty obvious solution once you hear it yeah but you're also saying that's a difficult solution to actually execute because most people put in the situation don't remember it yeah they don't remember to point it inwards yeah even like literally you could be getting this advice like right now you could be getting this advice, but hey, yeah, Jocko, that sounds like good advice. And then they'll go like back to work and it applies to someone else, you know? Yeah. It's like you don't realize it. Like, man, I should do that, you know, kind of thing. Yeah, that's the trouble with learning. <laughs> that's the trouble with learning because yeah. it's hard to apply it yourself. Yeah. Uh, once again, it's like jujitsu. You mm -hmm. can watch, I can show you how to do it. Yeah. And then you can watch me do it. And then I can move your limbs around so that you do it. And then we do a a drill where we drill the move t 20 times mm -hmm. and then you get into a competition and the move is there and you don't execute it. You don't mm -hmm. execute it correctly because you haven't done it enough. Yep. You have to do the move. You gotta do the move. You gotta do the move.